Anyways, a lot of friends that I talked to about this moment at the fuel bay were concerned that I wasn't scared about standing over top of these glowing fuel pellets, especially since I and none of us were wearing any kind of radiation protection suit. In all fairness, I was wearing my decoupled t-shirt. But it's one of those situations where a little bit of knowledge can relieve a lot of anxiety. Right now where we're standing, there's, there's not much for radiation at all. Like it's no. less than 2.5, right? Yeah. Exactly. Less than 2.5 Yeah. So when Dan says 2.5, he's talking about 2.5 millirem of radiation per hour. To put that into perspective, at 2.5 millirem per hour, if I wanted to get the dose I would get from one CT scan at a hospital, I would have had to stand over top of that fuel bay for 16 straight days, 24 hours a day. I can't understand a, a man standing up there that long. It turns out water is incredibly effective at absorbing nuclear radiation. Basically, as long as I didn't freak out and jump in the pool, everything was going to be fine. But that's when... No, I'm just kidding. Nothing happened. But I did ask. The rumor that if you swim in the top of the pool, you're actually getting less than background. Could be. I don't know for sure. It's yeah. very, very well shielded. I wouldn't dive too deep. <laughs> no, I wouldn't dive too deep either.